Hey YouTube, how's it going? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, going pretty good now. I am feeling better. The migraine seems to have receded somewhat. The joint pain has eased off a little bit. And uh, I'm feeling a lot more positive. <laughs> yeah, that is a positive thing in itself. And it's always good to feel more positive and up about things because down is just so much not fun. Really, it isn't. It's no fun at all. Anyway, this is October 1st. It is right now half an hour after midnight, which makes it a half an hour into October 1st. And it's time to begin October Obsession. I've mentioned this a few times in the past month. And what is October Obsession? October Obsession has to do with the fact that I have a couple of things that I am obsessed about. Definitely. Absolutely. Uh, one long time obsession that I have had, that you've heard me talk about repeatedly over the last several years, is the daily vlogging thing. The daily vlogs should actually happen daily. And because of the way I prefer to do things, they must happen in the morning. And that means recorded, edited, rendered, upload, and live on YouTube before noon. That's the goal. Every day. And yeah, so one of the ways to do that is record the night before. Or in this case, the six or seven hours before, whatever. Yeah, so that's that part of it. The trick is making it enough of a habit that it's an automatic thing. The thing is to create the habit of doing things the way I want them done. And after a while, it won't be a matter of fighting laziness or whatever. It's just gonna be a matter of do it because that's what I do. Yeah, that's the easy one. Really, it is. As much trouble as I've had with that over the years, that is the easy one. The hard one involves losing weight. Because I have had some bad news from the scale recently. And so, October Obsession, the main chunk of it is the losing weight thing. I want to lose a hundred pounds. I've done that once before. A little over a hundred pounds because I started at 363 and I got down as low as 255 and then I took a break and took it easy and then it just went from that to being lazy and here I am several through it like four or five years later and as of just a few minutes ago the scale reports my current weight at 305.5 pounds this is unacceptable in the extreme this is what you call morbid obese and morbid obese to me translates as dead fat I don't want to be dead fat. I don't want to be dead. <laughs> you know, but dead fat, no, absolutely not. So something's going to be done about that. And the way I'm going to handle this is in addition to talking about whatever issues come up along the way, in the daily vlogs that happen daily in the morning every day, there is going to be a weigh in report and a report of the calories consumed the day before. Now, I've been ready for this. I've got my weight in on, weigh-in on this already, 305.5 pounds. And the calories that I consumed yesterday, the last day of September, totals to, uh, what is that, yeah, 1,290. 
My overall goal in weight loss is to keep the calorie intake down. Now, I know one of the first things people are going to say, well, you need, you know, a person, a, 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 an adult male needs like 1,500 calories a day. Yeah, well, let's take, in, take something into account here. I am not a physically active person. Haven't been for a long time. I am a sedentary person. I sit on my ever-widening backside all day, and that's what I want to keep doing, except I don't want it to be ever-widening. Okay? <laughs> So, part of what I'm going to do is reduce the calorie intake. I'm aiming for in the neighborhood of 1,200 per day. In the neighborhood. A little over, a little under. We'll work with that. And, uh, yes, I know exercise needs to be a part of any weight loss effort. It really should be. And I'll get to that. Don't worry about that. It's coming. And uh, another consideration I'm sure somebody will mention, so I'll mention it here and beat you to it, is about the idea of, well, you don't have to weigh every day. It just creates pressure and problems and so on and so forth. This is true. However, I choose to do it because I want day-to-day -day numbers. Because numbers help me. Numbers actually give me something to shoot for and I am quite aware that there are up and down fluctuations even when you're actually successfully losing weight you will still show upswings and so on and so forth I don't care I want to see the numbers because it will show an overall trend if I track those numbers and plot them on a graph over time it will show an overall trend and that's what I intend to do and so that's what's going to happen. That's what October Obsession is all about. It's about me getting on, on the ball with the weight loss thing and getting on the ball with the doing the daily vlogs daily in the morning the way I want to, the way I've been whining about for years. And yeah, it's whining. And the reason I haven't done it, it largely got to do with lazy. I am fully aware of that because I could have been recording them the night before a long time ago. I don't know why I never thought of doing that, but there you go. Any hoozle, here we are. October Obsession has begun. This is the start point. This is the jumping off point. And from here, it's going to take a long time to lose that weight. I know it will. Because losing weight fast is a great way to gain it all back again, and then some later on. Losing weight fast is never a good option. You do it slowly, the body gets used to it, and it becomes habit. The things that you do to lose weight become habit, and that's important because you've got to change the habits. You can't just lose weight and then go back to eating Big Macs every day and expect to keep the weight off. It ain't going to happen. And speaking of eating Big Macs, by the way, I'll just inform anybody that wants to make a comment about it. I haven't had a Big Mac in probably a year. I don't go for that sort of thing. For one thing, they're too expensive for me. Somebody once asked me uh, before, several years ago, when I had successfully lost 100 pounds in about 9 or 10 months, uh, they asked me how I managed it. What was my secret? My answer was poverty. I can't afford the stuff that makes me fat, uh, at least a lot of it anyway. On the other hand, there's a lot of things that I can afford that are cheaper than everything else that are foods that are not good for you. But I'll be going into that kind of stuff in future videos. Meanwhile, I can see by the uh, camera's preview monitor here that I'm already over nine minutes in, so it's time for me to shut my mouth and say thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here. Mr. Jim Foster.